how to set up an oracle free cloud database hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can set up your own free cloud database using oracle so let's get into it now oracle is a service that provides not only cloud database but it has a lot of different resources available so you can see in their oracle infrastructure they have ai and machine learning they have hybrid cloud they have storage security hr they also have procurement financial management and you can also take a look at their industry solutions and resources for the specific industry that you are working in but we are going to be focusing on how to set up your oracle free cloud database so for that, you're just going to go on to oracle.com slash cloud slash free. So that is the link that you're going to enter on top of your search engine. So once you enter that link, you're going to be led to this page. So on this page, you have your OCI cloud free tier. So to get started, all you need to do is click on start for free on the bottom left over here. And then once you do that, you're going to begin your Oracle Cloud free tier sign up. So uh, the free tier sign up is very simple. We're going to enter our country. You're going to enter your first name and last name. Then you will enter your email address that you want to use. Then you are going to verify that you are still a human. So we're just going to complete this CAPTCHA over here like so. And once you've done that, you're going to click on verify my email over here. And we're just going to wait for the verification email to be sent. Once you have been sent the verification email, you're just going to go on to your Gmail account over here. And once you go on to your Gmail account, we're just going to wait for the email address to be sent. So we're just going to wait for this email to show up over here. And then you're just going to click on verify email, just like so. And once you have done that, so we're just going to wait for a new email. Now, once you have verified your email on Oracle, so I have verified my email over here, I'm going to input a valid password. So we're just going to enter a password that needs to have at least eight characters, one lowercase, uppercase, numeric, and one special, and cannot exceed 40 characters. So I'm just going to do that. And once I've done that, I'm going to confirm my password. And then after that, you can choose to enter a company name if you're purchasing for a company. Then you're going to enter your home region. And then let's say we're just going to add this as our home region. And then we're going to click on continue on the bottom. So after that, you just have to enter your address. And then you're going to enter your city. And then after that, you're just going to enter your phone number over here. So I will do that and I'll get back to you guys in a second. And now after that, you will be asked for payment verification. So I've entered all the address information. I've entered my phone number as well. And you will have to enter your payment verification. Now you might be wondering, hey, this is Oracle's free cloud database. Why do I have to enter payment information? Well, don't worry about it. Uh, the only reason that you actually have to add a payment verification method is for Oracle to be able to distinguish between, you know, people creating spam and fake accounts and actual people that need this cloud storage. So that is why it is so essential that you enter a payment verification method. So you're just going to click on add payment verification method and they won't charge you anything. You don't have to worry about that whatsoever you're just going to open up and then you're going to choose the credit card method or any other payment method and then what you're going to do is you're just going to enter all of this information you can choose to pay by your visa amex or mastercard so i will just enter this information over here and i will get back to you guys in a second you're just going to enter whatever your card number and your uh, information your billing information is so once I've input all this information, I'm just going to click on start my free trial and at the bottom left over here. And we're just going to click on over here to wait for our trial to begin. And that is how simple and easy it is to sign up for Oracle. Now we're just waiting for this to load up. They're just setting up our account and you will get started with their cloud storage. Now, this is just a simple way to get their free cloud storage. If you want to use any of their other super, super effective and useful features for that, you will have to get a premium version of Oracle and uh, they offer a lot of other tools 
tools as well i do recommend that if you are a larger business or just someone that needs highly powered tools if it just if your needs are not met with their free versions then i do recommend oracle as the overall integration for your business i do find that businesses are often using oracle for a lot of their database storage and other solutions as well you can see over here they have quite a few different resources and partners available and they also have different industry uh, setups already so this will enable you to you know uh, simply set up a simple business or set up whatever you are doing in a simple way uh, directly from their templates without having to uh, without having to actually you know um, you know spend 50 to 60 hours on just setting up a simple platform for you to use so we're just waiting for our oracle cloud storage to load and just like that our oracle uh, account has been created now i'm just going to click on over here and i'm just going to enter my cloud name Now, after that, I'm just going to continue on over here to the login and I'm just going to move. And now I just have to enter my username or my email address and password. So once I have entered my username or email address and password, I'm just going to click on sign in over here. And just like that, we are being signed into our Oracle cloud storage. And just like that, you can customize as well, but we're gonna skip that. And this is our storage platform currently. So on your left, if you click on over here, you will have your homepage, you will have some of your computing, storage, networking, and other fields available. Then on your top right, you have your cloud shell, you have announcements, health, language, and then your profile as well. So you can see that there are so many different services, not only on the premium versions, but on the free version of Oracle. And that is why it is just so uh, so frequently used by so many different businesses to expand and manage their overall uh, overall business. So let's say we are just a um, academic researcher. And now you can see you have your service links, you have quick starts, you have launch resources, you have start exploring. So you can choose to manage bills. And you can see there are quite a few different tutorials for you at Oracle as well at the Oracle Cloud free version to get started with your development process of the setup that you are looking to create. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to get started with the Oracle Cloud free version. You can see in their free cloud services, they have autonomous databases with two powerful tools like the Oracle Apex and the SQL Developer. They also have two AMD Compute VMs with four instances of ARM Ampere A1 Compute with 3000 OCP hours and 18,000 gigabyte hours per month with block object and, uh, and archive storage, load balancers, data ingress monitoring and notification so there are quite a few different features that you can make the best of on the cloud uh, infrastructure of oracle on even the free version and i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and check out our other videos for more tutorials on other social platforms as well and i will catch you guys in the next video